back in in your ears, back in front of you on that's scary. That back screen. in your ears, and they're like kind of like one of those weevils. Yeah, yeah. It just bores in. They just uh, cannot get us out. I I want to get my own self out of my head. God help someone if I'm in theirs. I know. Jeez. That's pretty scary. I didn't mean to interrupt you, though. You were on a roll there. I don't even remember. I'm sorry. Thing. It was sounding really good. It Probably. sounded really good. I'm so. actually going to check the frame to make sure you're in frame real quick. Oh, that's a good idea. Am I in frame? Yeah, we're good. All right. Like half of me cut off? Yeah. That'd be good. Be like, I'm going to keep that in there, though. Be like King Solomon, you know? We're going to keep it real. Half of me is there. Neither woman wanted me, so I was cut in half. <laughs> I Is that twisted of me to think what way was the baby going to be cut in half? Like, was it this way? Like, like one would get the top? Horizontal. Yeah, like, which way were we going to go here? Is it like one gets one eye, the other gets the other eye? One gets arms, one gets I think legs? It's only, I didn't know. Yeah, no, I think it's only twisted if you think of it like a, a vertical cut. Yeah, like I thought. Like if maybe it's there's a vert, some Hebrew a scholar vertical. that can help me here with this, you know? Phone a friend. Yeah. If you know, if you think you know, yeah, leave it, a comment down below. Yeah. No, no artwork with it. You know, none of that. We don't no, need no, any that's of that. Weird. Yeah, but, yeah it's mean, just disturbing thinking about it. I asked that when I was in Sunday school as a kid. I was sent to a special hospital for a few months. I came back out. It was fun times. No, you think it was just that question? Yeah, it may not have been just that question. It may have been multiple questions I asked as a kid. And now I'm a pastor, so there we go. Oh, goodness. There's hope for you too, kids. Don't worry. That's fine. I never worry if someone's opposed to my preaching. I say something that will mess with everybody. Talk about a weevil there. <laughs> now people are going to be all day, man, I wonder how that baby was cut. So And it wasn't, so there we go. No need to worry. There was a caring mom there. Hopefully. It's fun times. <sighs> So today, we're going to talk about something. You're like, we're done with this. We got 14 episodes in, and we cut it off. We're like, uh, uh, what was that the show? Uh, Firefly? Oh, no. yeah. Yeah, Firefly. I mean, our episodes have been kind of dis- disjointed. So yeah, so it's sense. like, you know, and then after it's like, no. Then they do a movie thinking it'll please everybody. Like, oh, it's great. And then, oh, I don't know. If, I don't know if people could put up with us. For no, probably hours. not. Probably yeah. not. But That'd it'd be a fun time. time. It'd be a fun time. So, we're going to talk about... We're going to, today we're going to talk about anxiety and stress. Um, right. I think a lot of our audience, um, hopeful audience out there, uh, are youth. Uh, Higher Things focuses on, on um, giving the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. Um, and youth nowadays in high school or college or what have you, they go through a lot of stress. Right. There's a lot of stressors. There's school. There's their personal lives. Um, my wife's a teacher and... Um, she tells me stories about her students and the things that they experience. I mean, I'm not that old. You're not that old. In not the grand yet. scheme, yeah. Yeah, in no. the grand scheme yeah. of things. Um, we are graying, but not gray. Right. Uh, but I mean, and I graduated 12 years ago and into, no, 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 no. I graduated 20 years ago myself from high school. 14 years 14 ago. 14 years ago. I tell you, man, old man, old man. Oh man. Yeah. Maybe I am old. There's kids that have been confirmed now in the Missouri Senate that weren't even alive when you graduated exactly. high school. That's pretty crazy. Man, I tell you. Anyway. There's kids married in the Missouri Senate that weren't even alive when I was married when I graduated high school. Yeah. All those young Missouri Senate kids in the Midwest get married at 18, yeah. having 32 kids, classically educating them, all that fun stuff. You know, Little armies. Essential oil fanatics. You know, and that was the fourth time we got canceled. Yeah, then, then, All right, cool. anyways, We're done. <laughs> so this podcast brought to you by Essential Oils or Young Living Essential Oils. Put this on a cut; it's better than stitches. No, I'm kidding. It's fun times. Um, <laughs> okay. No stress. You're right. It's like you have all these, and it keeps getting worse as the years go as, on. Yeah, I mean, you they're know? dealing with things um, in their personal lives with their families or with their friends that I would have never thought that I would deal with. No. And it's just, it's absolutely crazy. So how, how what, what can we tell um, the youth that are listening, what can we tell them about their stress and about their anxieties? Well, one, that the stress is real. That's the first thing. I mean, that's why I like the uh, podcast Under the Cross, right? right. You know, you have the, the, the mental health issues that are real. It's not like anxiety and depression are, are made up things. That, okay, I'll tell people I'm depressed because I don't want to deal with people. Or I'll tell people I'm anxious because I'm, I'm worried right. about things. No, these are real things. So that's the first thing is, is confess the reality of it. And when something's real, that means it's something Christ assumed on the cross for you. Mm-hmm. And that's the main thing. That Christ took every anxious day, every dis- depression-filled night on himself. Every stress-driven week on himself, nailed it to the tree that you may bear it no. 
So that's the reality is that's who you are, is one who has been relieved of the burden of that stress. But the reality is it's still there. Yep. Still there for you to deal with. And the world convinces us we need to be stressed about things. The devil convinces us that you, you need to rush through life. No, you don't. There's a reason. There's phrases like stop and smell the roses. Right. You know, stop and just take a breath and realize everything is going to be all right. Well, I mean, we were talking about that earlier when we were kind of preparing. And I think it's interesting that you say that because Instagram is probably one of the top three most popular social medias with our youth today. And as you scroll through your Instagram feed, you see all these things that you aren't and all these things that you would love to be and all these things right. um, that you could dream of. And it, and, and it pushes you in all these different directions. And that's what you were kind of alluding to when we were talking is like, there's so many choices. Yeah. Um, and once upon a time you, you picked a career and that was the path that's you were what on. you did. And now, I mean, even for me, like when I was in college, I I had five different majors before. Yeah. Whoa, man. man! It was it was Good impressive. Night. Yeah, man. we eventually settled on one. Never yeah. used that degree. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, with me, I wanted to be a pastor when I was eleven. Mm -hmm. But what did I get? Every single person asking me from eleven all the way through about college. You sure? You sure you want to do that? Yep. You should probably keep your options open. You know, when you go to college, don't just do theological. So if I wasn't a pastor. I would hopefully be able to run a Chick-fil-A franchise. I have enough kids, I could do it. Yep. They could all work the lunch hour for me, you know? All of them out there, little little bitty AV bug, what would you like today? You know, it's my pleasure to serve you, and all that fun stuff. But the thing is, uh, the whole time it was, no, but want more, do more. Mm -hmm. um, as a pastor, sometimes I get interviewed by a congregation, and they'll be like, what are your hobbies? They expect me to be so busy with stuff, like I have to fill every moment with something. No, you don't. You can be bored. You can you can relax, yeah. but we almost can't because everyone's forcing us to do something. Yeah, I mean, and even today, the kids who are forced to do sports because yeah. they need to play baseball or football, or you have to have you have to have all these hobbies and all these extracurriculars. To, yeah, to have the part time job, yep. have the school, get the good grades, and, and the other problem is, like you said, like earlier, like teachers, even uh, you have teachers not in school because they're depressed. So you, you see the level of stress on a teacher yep. and then that level comes the down to the student. Down. So yep. the thing is it's, and it seems like, okay, I don't need anything else added to my plate. You know, I don't need it. It's kind of like Thanksgiving day. You have everything piled on there and then you have the Hawaiian roll because you always need that. You, need so the you, Hawaiian got, you have roll, to have the sweet At Hawaiian. least three of them. And, and you, you plow it on top. But, but the thing is, where can we have rest is in Christ. The divine service is so beautiful because it, it sets you, it's that sacred time. It's you're almost taken out of the rest of reality. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus said, like this coming Sunday is the feeding of the 5,000. He finds a, a grassy area for everyone to sit and find rest for their soul, to find rest, to stop. And everything else, it almost doesn't exist right now. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those... Um, um, sensory tanks. Uh, sensory those, deprivation yeah, tank, yeah. You know, that's what the divine service is. Everything is gone. I almost wish I had like a basket on the way into the divine service. You have to put your cell phone in it on the way in. Like, yep. you're not going to get a phone call during this. Um, you don't wear a watch during this. Yeah, give, your, give yourself one hour, one and a half hours maybe. Just to... Just to, to be focused on the word. Luther said one time, um, he said, my day is so busy. I have so much to do. I must add two hours to my morning devotion. <laughs> and with us, it's like the yeah. opposite. It's yeah. my day is so busy, I don't have time for my morning devotion. Whereas we Luther... Might, we might get in the prayer in the morning. Yeah, period. Luther... At, we may do the sign of the cross. Right. Luther added hours. It's like I have so much to do, I have to do this. Don't let the world dictate what your life looks like. Mm -hmm. How worrisome it is. How burdensome it is. Christ has already given you your first day, your last day, and he controls every day in between. So trust in him. Realize he has it under control. It's going to be okay. Listen to more Bob Marley. Bob Marley, kids, is one of the best artists of all time. You know, Rasta. You know, Rasta's not good, by the way. Not good. It's a, it's a false religion. Uh, but The music, not the lifestyle, the religion. Yes. But the music's great. But in the end, how did he get buried, right? 
Ethiopian Orthodox, yeah. right? That's how I got. Actually, John Nunes does a ton of work on how Bob Marley came to the faith at the end of his life, but that's a fun, that's a fun thing. Um, but Bob Marley wrote just some amazing songs, right? No woman, no cry. But uh, one of my favorite is uh, Three Little Birds, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so we're talking cultural. That's what we do. Yep. Be in the Word of God, but also just listen to some relaxing yeah. stuff. Calm down. It's going to be okay. Do it's something you enjoy. Right. Yeah. Yep. D unwind a little bit. Don't don't just keep giving into the stuff. Uh, don't run the race that everyone else is, is running. Run the race that Christ has given you to run. Yep. It's a joyful one. So in all the gifts he gives, rejoice them. Like I just mentioned, Bob Marley. I doubt you're going to get that at a church. Like, oh, this will help you. Go listen to this guy. <laughs> no, it will. Listen to it. And relax a little bit. Yep. Um, eat your favorite food. Don't worry about the love handles. They're called love handles for a reason. You know, eat the food you like. Have the drinks you want. Hang out with the people that make you happy. Yep. Bear burdens with people you need to bear burdens with in life. And realize Christ is born the ultimate one for you. So, and that's why church is here. As that respite, that resting. Yeah. That big... <sighs> the big sigh, yeah, at the end of the week. Or the beginning times. of the week, yeah, yeah, for sure. And it goes from week to week. Yep. It's fun times. All right. That's good. That's good. We do okay. Yeah. We start bad. Well, not bad. We start, no, you fine. know, wobbly, you know, wobbly, wobbly things, you know. And we, then, you know, we are who together, we are. You know? we are. There's no point in stressing about who we are. Logan Cooper's like, how do you how do you plan these things? I don't know. It just happens. Yeah, it just, it just happens. We just go with it. It's amazing stuff. That's our episode for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we have some fun stuff planned in the next couple of weeks as we head uh, towards our uh, special edition Happy Time Easter episode. Right. It's going to be fun. That episode's fun. All right. I, I was a little stomach stomach sick for a couple days. Oh, so, just, most yeah. definitely. Uh, you'll see that soon. Uh, we'll see you all later. Have a good week. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>